My fellow Americans, and citizens of the world, it is the American proposition, that all people should be treated with dignity and respect. However, it is time, that no religion or irrational beliefs should hold sway on public discourse, or public policy. It is time, that all religions are treated as equally absurd and equally irrational. We continue to pay too high a price to ignore irrational beliefs, any rational, plausibility of the existence of God, was put on death row with the discovery of evolution, and was executed with the discovery of DNA, ISIS is the product of irrational beliefs, to deny this is a dangerous delusion, a delusion we can little afford, our future, needs a rational world, with a rational populace, who are not afraid to speak the truth, who are unafraid to make mistakes, and admit them, it is not what we have done, it is what we have failed to do, we are all accountable for ISIS, we allow ISIS when we say we know when we don't. We allow ISIS when we don't ask how do you know. We allow ISIS when we kowtow to authority. When we quote people as if they have divine knowledge. They don't. No one does. No one is beyond question. And that includes the illusion of God. God is the staple of irrational beliefs. Faith is not a substitute for reason. And it is only marginally acceptable when there is no reason to be found. Let it be clearly understood that the flourishing of society over the last 200 years has been largely in spite of religious institutions, and religious beliefs, not because of them, it is time we admit it is our fault, it is our failure to question, all mad assertion regardless of how benign they seem, religions are not the only breeding grounds for bad ideas, and extremism, but it is the most concentrated, we must hold everyone accountable for the manufacturing and distribution of bad ideas, not so they we can have their head figuratively or literally, but so that they we can be corrected. We all make mistakes it is the nature of being human, and it is logically inconsistent to think there could be a universal moral authority. Morality requires a constant dialogue with our neighbor, about all of our ideas, and values. It is not so that we can condemn a neighbor for not adhering to our values and ideas it is so we can foster a deeper appreciation of our neighbors. Nevertheless, the human condition dictates the basic needs of all of humanity, and when those basic needs are not met, because of irrational beliefs, we are required to act in the name of human decency, so we must act decisively against ISIS, but we must also act decisively against all irrationality. As of today there will be no special exemptions for religious institutions, and every religious institution will be audited by independent auditors and a public disclosure of all financial transaction and holdings will be made. To do anything less is to assume moral authority we do not have, and will never have.